What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another Screen Sanctum Reaction. I'm Steve. Today, we're going to react to the Season 2 finale of Rick and Morty. The title is The Wedding Squanchers. I am exhausted. I got back from vacation late last night, and I need to pick me up. So perfect that Rick and Morty is what I'm watching. If, if you're watching this on YouTube, I got back two weeks ago. But I need something to make me laugh. I feel like I'm in a little bit of a rut because of how tired I am. So I'm just going to get right into it. The season two finale of Rick and Morty in three, two, one, go. The trick to cereal is keeping 70% of it above the milk. Jerry, get <laughs> so a it job. doesn't get mushy. Uh, me and Jerry, hey, Jerry both need a you're job. Jerry, in the house and you don't have a job. <sighs> Delivery for Rick. Morty, summer. What? Oh shit! It looks like an egg bite from Bird Person. Must be time for his annual. <laughs> and you Oscar get your party. packages from its asshole. Inviting you to Planet Squanch for our mate melding ceremony. Ah, <laughs> uh, he doesn't want to go to the wedding. If I wanted to watch someone throw their life away, I'd hang out with Jerry all day. <laughs> Returning to center. No, hold on, stay. Friend that's getting married. That's a yeah, big deal. Yeah, you gotta that's go, Rick. Deal he has a friend. What do you oh, know about Jerry. friendship, Jerry? <laughs> oh, wait. oh God, Jerry! Oh my God. Where is it taking him? I assume Planet Squad. That was a misunderstanding. Ooh, they're all dressed up except for oh, uh, Rick looks like he's in an '80s Miami Vice sport jacket. Sanchez, but Morty is. Look at how nice Morty looks. Summer. I squant my family. I... What? I do. I squanch my family. Stop saying <laughs> it, I guess it's hard to speak squanch. There's Jerry. That's actually pretty funny that, that they got there before him. I am pleased you and your family could witness my <laughs> melding with Tammy. Our pleasure. Yeah, I just hope you got a pre-meld. Oh, sure that's that funny. I actually thought you, Rick was wearing a sport jacket Jesus, in the, He's just grumpy from the, flight. In the oh. spaceship. <laughs> a landing. He didn't get dressed oh. up at all. Well, I looked at the guest book. We don't know a damn person here. Look, here's some humans you can practice on. You must be oh. Summer's mom and dad. We're Tammy's parents, Pat and Donna Guterman. Hi. Cool. More humans. They're quite proud. He's a wonderful how, person. And an how was that a pun? Bird. What did Still, I miss? What is he, 40? Because <laughs> you need to cut me some slack. I want you to oh, stand in the cherry. corner and face the corner and talk to nobody. <laughs> Maybe I will. I mean, look around. This is your family and friends. Oh, Morty, you're you so know? cute. Take the day off. There's nothing to run from. Nothing to fight. <laughs> nothing to run from or fight at this moment. <laughs> Good one, Morty. Oh, excuse me, bartender. I have a lot of vodka. Then I'll take one of those. I don't need the rest. God, whatever, Rick. Mm, Rick knows something. I guess I should be happy for you. I mean, great. You guys got to hang out. I hope you had a blast. The I don't think they really did much hanging out. Wise of me to share these details. <laughs> but he's I doing it anyway. Inebriated. I don't know if you can appreciate what it means to grow up without a father. We have committed numerous atrocities oh, shit. in the name of freedom. And during that time, yeah, something's going to happen. His daughter. In the name of the Squanch, the Six Rivers, the Four Squanches, and the Nine Balls, I unite these two organisms. The Nine Balls. Tammy, you may squanch your vows now. Bird person, you are my seed. I now pronounce you Squanch. Well, I got that right. Rick is way more shit based than usual. Kiss the Squanch, or Squanch the Bride. You know, when I first met Bird Person, he was, uh, uh, listen, I'm not the nicest guy in the universe. <laughs> now, I haven't been exactly subtle about how little I trust marriage. Mm, I couldn't make it not work and I could turn a black hole into a sun, all. so. Bird Person is my best friend. And if he loves Tammy, mm -hmm. well, then I love Tammy too. Hmm. Uh, he had a friendship <laughs> bracelet. <laughs> Hmm, that was really mature of Rick. 
In a lot of ways, what I really am uh. is a deep cover agent for the Galactic Federation, and you guys are a group oh, of wanted criminals. Oh shit! Explain it to you. She must have been undercover for a long time to be freaking the best friend. Damn me! Oh shit! Did I predict two things this episode? Damage it. The one and the oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, Rick's not an idiot. Those look like big blue balls. There's no time to squash. <laughs> Get your family out of here. I got this. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Damn! Like the incredible squanch. Good thing I grabbed a space weapon. Hold on tight. Oh, there goes them's. This is on you guys. I told you weddings are stupid. <laughs> he didn't want to go. He's right. Jeez, Rick, you can't say F you to your granddaughter. <laughs> you I just did say Marie. whatever he Here's wants. Dessert. <laughs> you. Look, I think we've all had a time. Fall, the reception <laughs> got out of hand. Anyway, I say we go home, sleep it off, and have a family meeting in the morning. Yeah, about going home. Oh, no. Anyone that wants to go back to Earth is free to go back to Earth. But here's what's going to happen. Damn, how Any are they going to cliffhang season two? You. You realize our planet's name means dirt, right? We'll find a new world. Computer, how many planets in the Milky Way are at least 90% similar to Earth? <laughs> hmm, that's a lot. Uh, white people problems, Morty. <laughs> oh Let's go down God. and check her out. What? That's uh, I thought it was further away. tiny. That planet's the size of like a building. Okay, this one's bigger. <laughs> All right. That's a little better. This looks nice. Mom, Dad, look! Strawberries on a cob! It's probably oh, not strawberries. Whoa. Birds on a cob? Oh my god. <laughs> cob planet. Get in the ship, sweetie! What? Get in the oh, ship! Oh no. Everything's on a cob! The whole planet's on a cob! <laughs> go, go, go! Is there a problem with that? Or he just doesn't like it? Wow, hey, look, you guys, the sun's rising. Oh, is it? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, it's official. The obscure <laughs> they planet stay on the little one. Earth, formerly the hiding place of interstellar terrorist and fugitive. They Rick picked Sanchez. the little one. Oh, do I smell bacon? Yes, we discovered a species of tiny pig off the coast of New Australia, about 30 yards east. <laughs> For you some, but we hunted it to west. extinction for breakfast. <laughs> well, I thought I'd walk to the South Pole and do a little bit of exploring. Yo. Oh, an ice cave. Oh no. Things just keep on getting better. Oh, Rick. Wow, it's the planet's core. Oh shit, he's gonna be able to hear him. So yes. Oh my God, the core is literally right under the house. What if we turned your father into the government? Jerry, so help me God, Ooh, if you ever bring this Jerry. up again, no more bacon. There are... That's not the point, Kinda Dad. Kinda has a point. For, for, for the most part. Yeah, you don't love people in hopes of a reward, Dad. You... Hmm. That's true. He's gonna catch it himself. <laughs> hey. It reminds We're me of Invincible. Drop system, get some ice cream. You you want me to come with? I mean, do, don't you need my brainwaves for camouflage or something? <laughs> Rick? Oh, Rick's not coming back. You're not leaving, right? Yeah, I am. To get ice cream. So you're coming back? Cream, and then you don't come back. You haven't actually gotten ice cream. You've just gone where ice cream is. <laughs> Rick? Yeah. <sighs> Alright, so is our boy Rick actually gonna come back? For English, press two. 
I know the whereabouts of Rick Sanchez, the wanted criminal. Damn, on. he's gonna turn himself in. This is Special Agent Gribbles. You have a tip about Rick Sanchez? If we come back to Earth, can my family have a normal life? We only want Sanchez, sir. Your family will oh, be fine. Oh man, Rick nice. did a good thing, huh? Smith and I love sucking big sweaty <laughs> and licking <laughs> disgusting <laughs> furry <laughs> testicle Rick. sacks. Uh, one good deed. How long will you be visiting Earth? Oh, we live here. We were just off planet for a wedding. Go that way. <laughs> hey. Wait a second. Does Earth just have a lot more aliens now? Oh, because of that tourism. I have processed. Uh, everything. everything. Ah, I could write these sometimes. Shit. All right. So that's kind of what I figured towards the towards the ending of this episode. Now let's see what the post credits. And knowing Rick and Morty, they could do a thing where the post credits is him getting out. But I doubt it. I hope they save that for season three, episode one. All right. Oh, look who it is. Oh, he's actually watching this episode. The cliffhanger. Oh, boy, oh my. That's a real crazy ending, huh? <laughs> Hi, I'm Mr. Poopy Butthole. Mr. Poopy Butthole. Hell yeah. Oh, 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 oh Feels better. I hope we definitely see a lot more of him. Got a large pepperoni and some crazy sticks. Hey, what'd you think of that finale, huh? Mm. You think that the Smith family's gonna be okay? <laughs> gonna get out of jail? <laughs> Ooh, you, you think the family's gonna rescue him? Hey. <laughs> oh, oh, Mr. Tune Poopy Butthole. Rick and Morty season three in like a year and a half. <laughs> we unravel this mess. Ooh, wee. <laughs> Was it longer than a year and a half? I don't know. I really love how aware this show is of itself. Even sometimes, like even at the end of season one, Rick was the one breaking the third wall. Do I consider this, do we consider this breaking the third wall though? Or is Mr. Poopy Butthole like on our, like my earth right now watching the show and somehow he gets portaled into the Rick and Morty show when he's with Rick, Morty and, and the family? Or is it just something that's unexplained and they could just do it whenever they want? Like, you could watch the show while it's being filmed, like in Spaceballs. But a very exciting season uh, two finale, in my mind. Um, it was the twist I did not see coming with the best friend being um, an agent for the Galactic. I think they called the Galactic Empire. Not the Galactic Empire. Ah, I already forgot. But... That was pretty interesting, and I kind of felt like something was going to happen at the wedding because something always happens um, in Rick and Morty. You can't go an episode where uh, nothing goes to shit, to be honest. So that was kind of cool with that little twist. Hopefully Bird Person is not dead. Uh, I thought he might die that episode, but after he was shot a few times, he did still speak, and we never saw a dead body. So he's probably not um, yeah, Rick being selfless was kind of, I wouldn't say surprising. Um, I can't think of anything specific, but I know 90% of the time or 80% of the time he's an asshole, but there are times in the show where he does genuinely say he loves his family and he loves, uh, his grandkids. It's just, he has a really short temper and he just likes being an asshole for the most part. I don't think he does it for any other reason than he enjoys it. And when he needs to be loving, I guess he is. But um, it was nice, actually, of him to hear what they were saying. Uh, it was nice of the family. That was a, actually a pretty good speech um, by Summer saying, like, you don't, you know, you don't like someone or love a family member because you want to get something out of it. You just, they're family, so you love them unconditionally anyway 
And it's hard for Jerry to see that because Rick is not related to Jerry at all. So he just sees him as a person who was kind of, in his eyes, tearing his family apart. But, you know, Beth is his daughter and the kids are his grandkids. So they're all blood related. So they see, I guess, the good in Rick. And, you know, he did the right thing, getting himself arrested so the family could live a life um, on Earth. But then we get back to Earth and it's not Earth as we know it. The Federation has taken over and it seems like there are a lot more restrictions. So when season three starts, one, they have to break Rick out of maximum security. And two, they're going to have to rid the Earth of the Federation because you can't. it doesn't look like humans are really going to do well living on Earth. So I think that's probably going to be the two main themes of season three, in my mind, just from watching this finale. Um, but yeah, two seasons up, two seasons down, and two really good season finales to me. So that means I have, what, uh, five more seasons to go. So I'll be on three, four, five, six. Hopefully, I can finish seven before season eight comes out. And that means I have, what, season three, four, five, six, seven. So I have 50 episodes. So I have about a year's worth of Rick and Morty to watch so hopefully season eight doesn't come out in 50 weeks, you know, but we'll see what happens. But I, I really enjoyed this episode. I enjoyed the season and I'm really loving this show. And hopefully um, all the seasons are good, especially the ones without uh, the creator. I know in season seven, uh, he's not doing the voice of Rick and Morty anymore. Um, basically. Most of the things I hear is that the show is is just really good. And then there's some people that say, I think like season uh, five, six, and seven aren't as good as the first four. But when I get there, I'll figure it out. But I want you to tell me, um, let me know in the comments below, what am I like, what's in store for me with Rick and Morty season three? Is it as good as season two? Is it good as season one? Is it better? Is this where it falls off? Does it just keep getting better? Are there any seasons that kind of outshine another two? Are there any seasons that you think just, you know, are terrible and suck? Um, just let me know. What, do you, what should I be looking forward to, you know, in season three and in Rick and Morty, all the seasons to come? Because I'm really looking forward to watching them all with you. So comment down below from season one to season two, which was your favorite season? For me, I don't know. I think they were both pretty equal. They were both pretty good. Um I guess gun to my head, I guess I'll say season two, but at this point, I don't um, have any specific reasons why. Just quickly running back on the season, there was a, a lot of really good moments. I really liked kind of the Iron Man episode, um, but I'll just have to go back and, and think about it. But I enjoyed them both. So let me know. What did you think of this episode? What did you think of this season? What do you think of my reaction? Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace, guys.